Hello everybody, my name is Peggy Barre and I'm so happy to be with you this morning. I am a volunteer facilitator at GLOW. GLOW is a charity that supports victims and survivors of domestic abuse. I am a resilient survivor. I am a passionate facilitator and a motivator. I hope you guys are looking after yourself and your loved ones, especially at this most difficult time at the moment. I am at home, I'm safe isolating because I've got an underlying condition. So yes, we are going through an unprecedented time in our lives, which we all need to keep our sanity intact. So before the coronavirus lockdown, I was preparing and planning to pilot my self-awareness, emotional recovery and prevention program, which I call turning your pain into gain. But because that is not going to be possible, well, as a result of the social distancing, I have been reflecting on what I could do differently to change lives or to make a difference. Right. especially at this time where we need to keep our sanity intact. We need to look after our emotional and physical well-being. So as a result, I created a Facebook page, which I call Smart Hop 20. It's literally a health and well-being page, which I intend to share free bite-sized content of Taipik you know, as a way of motivating people at this time that we face in our life. It's a time where we need to come together as a community to share whatever resources that we have with one another, because this is a time where we need each other than never before. So what is Taipik or what is turning your pain into gain? This program Taipik, like I said, is a self-awareness emotional recovery and prevention program, which was created with victims of child of, of domestic abuse and survivors of childhood abuse in mind. Taipik is designed to accommodate anybody who has gone through trauma in their lives and who feels stuck in their lives. And Taipik is created on the basis that when we go through challenges in our life, like what we're currently facing, right? When we experience trauma, when we experience pain, after experiencing it, what are some of the lessons that we learn? And when we learn those lessons, what do we do with it? And how do we do it? So Taipik is focused on 14 principles or on 14 steps to turning our pain into gain. These are the steps that we can take to bounce back in life or the steps to put a smile on our face again or the steps to thrive again in life despite our journey of pain. So this forum which I've created, I'll be sharing with you this content of Taipei. I really do accept and I really do agree that life is painful. Life is full of pain. Right. Just barely three months ago, we were all planning, making plans, setting our objectives, setting our goals, firing ourselves for 2020. Right. Many people wanted to lose weight. Some people wanted to travel the world. Some people wanted to increase their finances, get their ideal jobs and all whatnot. But we had no clue that by now we will literally be grounded. Right. No means to do all those things that we we planned for. And that is life, right? Life is full of pain as well as full of uncertainty. But the beauty of it all is that despite the pain in life, there is beauty, there is gain, there is joy, there is accomplishment, depending on which direction we want to take. I just want to encourage you today, anybody who is watching me right now, that despite what we're experiencing right now in our life, despite the pain that you're going through, because for some people, that pain may not just be the pain of COVID-19. It might be a pain from childhood, the pain of unlimited belief, the pain of mental health, the pain of physical health, the pain of financial crisis, the pain of challenging kids, the pain of a difficult relationship, the pain, the pain, the pain, the pain. The pain. It can be endless right? But despite all of this pain in life, we can still choose to live smart and be successful and be happier and be healthier in life, right? So what is smart? We can live a smart life despite all what we're going through, 
right? We can learn to S, set goals. We can learn to M, manage our time, manage our emotions, manage our relationships. We can A, align with the right people, align with the right ideas, align with the right opportunities. We can arrow, rest, rest our brain, rest our, our physical selves, and we can T, take, take actions, right? So what is the S? which is about setting goals. So yes, at this time where we are going through lockdown, we can't do the things that we wanted to do. It is a moment of reflection, right? Setting goal is so crucial in our lives. I say no goals, no life. Goals for me is literally my life. It's like my lifeline, right? My goals is what gives me hope. It's what makes me wake up in the morning. It's what makes me want to continue living life despite the, the, the challenges that we face every day. Right. So setting goals is so crucial for some people. They may have already set their short term, their medium term and their long term goals. For other people, they may be setting their goals. Now, this is a time where they are grabbing, taking the opportunities to re strategize, to reanalyze, you know, their, their, their plans for 2020 and to put in place another alternative. And for some people, they may be giving up in life already. You know, like, what is the point for me? I can't achieve the things that I wanted to achieve, you know, because of the lockdown. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do that. So we've got to prepare ourselves mentally that no matter how long it takes, we can still use the opportunity for our good. We can still use it to benefit us. So it is an important time for us to set goals. Set goals, you know, what are the things that you want to achieve? Because these whole things, it go, it's going to pass. It's going to pass. It passes. What do we want to, 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 to take with us? Do we want to start afresh or do we want to start implementing all the steps that we've been taking during this lockdown period? Right. So that is it for, for setting goals. The next thing that we want to look about is managing our time. Time is so crucial. When it's gone, it's gone. It's a valuable commodity, right? How do we spend our time from morning to night? Do we spend our time clicking or, you know, watching social media, trying to catch up on the latest thing that is happening, the news that is happening in Australia, what is happening in Pakistan, what is happening in China? Yes, it's good to catch up on your news, but do not let it freak you out. Do not let it take your joy away because I think some of what is going to kill many people is not the virus itself it's fear right it's panic anxiety i've told my family family members to stop sending me videos because i am tired i mean i'm bombarded every day with videos it's draining my energy right so yes we need to manage our time because whatever the way we spend our day our time daily Whatever goals we set for our, our daily goals is what is going to lead to our weekly goals, our monthly goals, our yearly goals, and our dream, right? And our dream in life consciously or unconsciously can be negative or positive. It can be healthy or unhealthy. It can be success or pain, depending on what we do daily. So we need to manage our time judiciously, right? For so many people are working from home and it's challenging to work from home. Somebody like me, I'm finding it difficult. I'm trying to adapt with the noise, right? Yesterday, I was trying to type finance and I type Fortnite because that is what I kept hearing from the background. But hey, that is part of how we need to adapt. We need to accept and adapt to the situation. Be smart. We need to be courageous to filter our social network. Those that are a plus to us, we keep. And those that are a minus or draining our time and energy, we dish them. Because we do not need those type of people at this moment. We need people who can uplift, uplift our spirit every day we need people who can encourage us who can make us to get to be hopeful in this difficult time or precedented time that we face in life we need to rest our mind rest our brain this is the time for us to take some rest to sleep you know spend time with our family spend born with our family learn read the books that we couldn't read you know do the things that we could we, we've, we've been putting on pause this is the opportunity to do all those things that you know have been waiting for a very long time so we need to actually rest ourselves rest our mind and please 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 do not overthink don't overthink yes it's difficult yes it's going to pass right 
and the a is the, the t sorry is about is the time to take action right we need to take action we can set all the beautiful goals we can set all the planning we can talk and talk and talk and talk about the dreams that we want to achieve all the things that we want to see come true if we do not step out and take action then all those dreams are dead right taking action will mean stepping out of that comfort zone it will mean doing the things that we want to do right because the time is never going to be right People are not going to stop talking. The fear is not going to go away. We need to take the bold step, step out and take some action. So I hope you learned something and thank you for tuning in. And I hope you go on on that Facebook page, you know, 